Kane is up to old tricks. He did it again. His latest move against Donald Trump, well, it should have him kicked out of the Senate. JR for Liberty Writers News reports that John McCain loathes Donald Trump. The Arizona, the Arizona Senator would not even vote for Trump on Election Day last year, deciding to go for a fellow never-Trumper, Lindsey Graham, his buddy from South Carolina. Now, twice this year alone, McCain has stabbed Donald Trump in the backs, backstabbing Americans by killing Obamacare repeals, but he's not done just yet. Now, John McCain is looking to halt the president's massive tax cut plan. Now, the Washington Compost paints a horrible picture. They write that it's a specter that should stalk the nightmares of Republican leaders. A Senate chamber packed on Christmas Eve as lawmakers gather to decide the fate of a tax package that will shape the GOP's political fortunes. They continue, the bill remains one vote shy, and then Senator John McCain walks in, pauses before the desk, delivers his second thumbs-down dagger of the year. Well, so far, they write McCain's potential objections sound familiar. The senator helped tank the GOP's Obamacare rewrite by arguing in part that it hadn't followed regular order. That is, there were no actual hearings on the measure before it was pushed to the floor. So he was all complaining, oh, you guys didn't argue, you didn't talk, we didn't debate. Well, read the freaking bill, John. Read the freaking bill. Make a decision. Okay? That's your excuse? It's a lousy one, John. I've said this time and time again. You need to go back to Arizona, spend your last days with your family and your grandchildren. I'm sure that they would rather spend time with you than the American people watching you destroy this freaking country, John. They continue here that McCain has proved a moving target. He opposed the 2001 Bush tax cuts, one of only two Republicans to do so, citing what he called the bill's lopsided benefits for the wealthy. Wow. Quite a uh, record there, John. They say here, uh, given McCain's disdain for our president and his past voting record against everything Trump has promised the American people, and that he is a globalist neocon Soros puppet, all signs are pointing to John McCain derailing this latest effort to bring much-needed tax relief to the American people, once again solidifying his place in history as a traitor to the party and a traitor to the American people. What are your thoughts? Comment below. Subscribe for updates. If you like what we're doing, give us a thumbs up and share this report on your social networks. For the next News Network, I'm Gary Franchi. Before you go, I have a special announcement to make. Friends, this year we have seen record-breaking disasters hit the United States, and I want you to be prepared for whatever lies ahead by visiting preparewithgary.com. We've seen apocalyptic-level hurricanes, floods, and wildfires, not to mention the constant threat of a strike on the continental United States from North Korea. Just one EMP burst over the United States would knock us back to the Stone Ages for months not years. Now, I want you to go to preparewithgary.com, and for the small price of just $67, you could buy some peace of mind knowing that you have 70 servings. Take a look. This is the actual box that they sent me. 70 servings that will feed you for two weeks. Now, go to preparewithgary.com for top quality food that will last 25 years. 25 years shelf life, my friends. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner sealed in a military-grade mylar, easy to prepare, made in the United States. And that's only when you go to preparewithgary.com. Not only does your purchase buy you peace of mind, but it also supports this channel as YouTube continues to wipe out our ad revenue in an effort to silence our conservative voice. So go to preparewithgary.com to prepare for the unknown and support our conservative efforts for the small price